Hello, I'm Emily and today I'm going to be showing you guys two easy smoothie recipes. I like to have smoothies almost every morning for my breakfast. I find that they give me a huge boost of energy to start my day and um, they're really easy because you can make them the night before, you can take them on the go. And so keep in mind, I like to have these as my meals. If you're maybe going more of the snack route, I would maybe cut the recipe in half. But this first smoothie we're going to be doing is my berry breakfast smoothie. So you're going to need one to two bananas, about two cups of frozen berries, quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, half teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter cup of oats, and about three quarters of a cup of coconut milk or whatever milk liquid you want to use. So we're just going to put everything in the blender. My blueberries froze to my cup. That's how you know they're really frozen. And if you don't want the cinnamon or the vanilla, that's kind of more of an optional thing. I find that it just kind of gives the smoothie a little bit more of a sweetness. And I really love the cinnamon with the oats. It's really good. All right, once you have everything in there, you just blend it up. And you pour it into your container. And you're good to go, smoothie number one. So this next smoothie I'm going to be showing you is my tropical green smoothie. It's one of my favorites that I've just started in making. And this one's really good for getting in your daily greens. If you're someone like me that doesn't like to eat a lot of vegetables, but like tries to be healthy, you can get in your greens without actually having to like taste them. So we're going to be using two bananas, um, two cups of kale, or if you don't like kale, try spinach, about a cup of frozen pineapple. And if you don't like pineapple, try mango three quarters of a cup of my coconut milk again, and two tablespoons of chia seeds. This is more optional too, um, just a good way to get some healthy fats in there. So once again, we're just gonna put the ingredients in the blender. And I like to do the frozen fruit because I don't really like to put ice in my smoothies. I'd rather have it be thicker, um, not as watery. So that's why I do the frozen fruit, but if you want to do ice instead and just use fresh fruit, that's totally fine. If you want your smoothie to be cold. All right, let's do this. Like I said, the great thing about this one is it looks super green, and it is super green, but you don't taste it. You mostly just taste the pineapple and the banana, which I personally love. All right, and you have your second smoothie ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like if you want to try one of these recipes. Leave a comment down below. What do you guys like to put in your smoothies? You can find this recipe at livingonadime.com.